Good evening traders, this is Robson Hayashida here and today we are going to talk about the Order on Chart EA Expert Advisor. I'm sure that a lot of guys and, and, and girls <laughs> want to know about how to trade uh, using this EA because it's very important for us, especially if you are doing uh, scalping, if you are uh, using scalping techniques over uh, PVSRA, this is very important for you. And not only with PVSRA, because actually this uh, uh, EA is not uh, specially made for that purpose only. Like you can use this EA with any other uh, methodology, with any other strategy that you may be using. So first of all, let me explain to you by how you can find this uh, EA. Okay, so let's... Uh, Okay, so I just closed the EA for a while and then I'm going to uh, show to you how you can find it. So you just have to go here to navigator screen, okay? If you can't see this, you can just go to view and then you can just go to uh, here, navigator, okay? So if you click on it, it goes. Then if you click on it again, you can see it again. So all you have to go uh, to do is you go to this order on chart V 2.5 order limit one. Okay. Hey Robson, I can't see it. What should I do? Okay. If you can't see this here, then it's because you don't have it there. So go to file. Okay. Click on file. Then click on open data folder. Okay. So you click on open data folder. Then you click on MQ4, MQL4, okay? Then you click on Experts, okay? The first one that you find there will be Experts. So you click on this Experts folder. And if you don't have it here, all you have to do is go to the downloaded from, uh, from forexfactory.com or from our thread uh, scalping, uh, PVS area scalping with Cigar Guy, okay? Uh, or uh, it's there, or you can find it there, okay? So once you found it there, uh, you have uh, just copy, just drag and drop the file here, okay? So the one I'm using this one is this one, order on chart V2.5 order limit 1.EX4, okay? Um, by this time, as I'm speaking, this is the newest one. Like if eventually we get a newer one, will be 2.6, okay? Or 2.7, something like that, okay? Uh, if you don't know how to copy and paste here, uh, just ask a friend or go and find a Windows tutorial somewhere on the internet because if you don't know how to do that, it's not really related to this uh, EA only. <laughs> It's a question of how to use Windows. So, okay, so uh, here, let's close this window, all right? So once you have done that, you should be able to visualize it here, okay? If you can't see it here, all you have to do is right click, okay? And then click on refresh, and then you're going to be able to see it there, okay? So let's go back. So once I go to Expert Advisors and I go to this one, okay, order on chart V 2.5 order limit one, all I have to do is drag and drop somewhere on the screen, okay? I was using that uh, EA just before, that's why I get this alert uh, message uh, window, okay? Do you really want to stop blah, 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 and execute blah, 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 okay? So I was using the EA just before, so I, I dragged and dropped the same EA, that's why I got this window. So let's click on yes. So probably you guys will not take it, the prof, like the first time you use it, you will not receive the same pop-up window. Okay, so I just loaded my EA, I can see the EA here, all right? And then I, I'm expecting to see a smiling face here, but here is a sad face which means your EA cannot be used yet, okay? So now your EA is not running. What should I do? Okay, all you have to do is you click on auto trading, okay? So you click here 
and you should be able to see the smiling face. Whoops, the smiling face is not here yet. Okay, what happened? What happened is that you have to allow the EA to run. How do I do this? You just have to go here, go to your EA, right click somewhere on your EA, right click. Then you go to Expert Advisors, go to Properties, okay? And all you have to do is you go to common, this common tab, and click here, allow live trading, okay? So on this live trading, you just have to check this checkbox, allow live trading, and click on OK. All right, so now the sad face has turned into a smiling face. Voila, okay, so now I can trade, okay? So, Let's just place a random trade here just to explain to you guys how to use this uh, EA. So let's just buy, okay? Once again, I'm not looking at PVSRA, so I'm just buying at a random point, okay? So ignore the, ignore the PVSRA rules, okay? So just buy anything, okay? So just buy it, okay? And then you can see two things now, okay? You can see the first dotted line is the entry price so this is the price that you bought and you can see the tp the green line okay the take tp is take profit okay uh whoops but you can't see the stop loss yet okay so what happened is let's close it so let's click let's click on close all you can either click on close all to close all the trades or you can alternatively you can click here to close this particular uh trade so let's click here on this X to close this trade. All right. So now I have closed it. And then what you can see is uh, this is going to turn into something. So this TP will disappear. Oh, yeah. So disappeared. So here you have the price you uh, entered and the price you bought it. So you have two prices with these two circles. Okay. And you have the distance between the two here i just close it right now so it's very the distance is minimal okay so uh just before you can see the stop loss why because this use stop loss is set to false okay so let's turn it to true so all you have to do is click on right click on your ea go to expert expert advisors go to properties okay then you go to inputs and then you go to here, go to use stop loss. It says false. All you have to do is change it. So double click on it, change it, change it to true and click on OK. All right. So now you can see that. Let me explain to you guys about this EA a little bit. So you have lots. It's 0 0.01 lots. OK. If you don't understand lots, please uh, refer to my other video. I have a past video where I explain about lots, okay? So I'm not gonna explain about lots now. So uh, you have pips, okay, 60. 60 is actually not pips, but it's pipits, okay? So pipits is one tenth of a, of a pip. So when I say 60 pipits, I, I, it's, this is actually six pips, okay? can be confusing because it's, it's written pips here okay so tp is take profit so ta the take profit is 50 okay pips so which is actually five pips okay and uh let's use the buy button again again okay just to see what happens now so i click the buy the i push this buy button again now you can see three lines so you see the dotted red line here is my entry price. You see the stop loss, the SL, okay, SL is the stop loss. And you see the TP, the take profit. So you see three lines, okay? So you can also see that the stop loss has been set to minus six pips. The take profit has been set to plus five pips, which is exactly what's written here, okay? So here, my it's set to 60 pips the stop loss and the take profit 50 pips okay so 50 pips uh 50 pips <laughs> so five pips okay so this is how it goes and uh, once it has reached 
either one of those, the EA will close. Okay, so the meta trader will close the the trade. Okay, so once let's say it goes against me and then he's reached the stop loss of 112.18108, then meta trader will close it. Or if it has reached the TP 112.218 then MetaTrader will close the trade, okay? So now uh, we don't have time for that, so let's close all for the moment. So I hit here, and I have closed both, uh, I have closed the trade, okay? So now let me explain to you how to use this EA. Let me explain to you about other options here. So the first option you have here, the first button is close profit. What happens is that if you hit this button, if you push this button, what happens is that it will close all the profitable trades. So if you have a negative, like if you have a losing trade at the moment, that losing trade will not be closed. Okay. Uh, close all, I just explained to you guys, uh, would be if you hit close all, we'll close all the trades. Okay. Including the losing ones. So the profitable ones and the, the, the losing trades, both, both of them will be closed. Okay. Buy is the buy button, sell is the sell button. Buy stop, sell stop is that you have you buy and sell with a stop, okay, or stop loss. Buy and sell limit is you set the price and then you set and you buy it buys when it reaches that price or it sells when it reaches that price. Okay. Uh lots I already explained. Pips here it will be the stop loss. Once again, in pipets, not pips, okay? Uh, this is the risk that you're willing to take in money. This is also the, the same risk, but in percentage, okay? We are, which we are not using to, to now, right now. We use later. 50, uh, 50 TP is five, okay? Pips of take profit, okay? Use the hidden stop loss and take profit, okay? This is, is interesting. This is because some people, is, well, not some, but actually a lot of people, a lot of users think that because they think the information when uh, the difference between hitting stop loss and take profit and these other buttons here is that you hit, oh, I just got an alert on USDJPY. Let me close this. So the difference is that when you hit this buy and sell button, the stop loss and the take profit profit uh, information will be sent to the to your broker as well. Okay, at the same time, okay, at the same time you hit this button, not only the entry price but also the stop loss and the take profit values will be sent to your broker. If you use uh, the hidden stop loss and take profit, the information for the entry will be sent, but the information for the stop loss and take profit will be not be sent to your broker at that time. So it'll be used by the EA to close it when you hit the stop loss and take profit. Okay. If that makes sense to you. So uh, the thing is that because if you use this one, okay, because the information is sent to your broker, uh, people are afraid that some like weird, like some sketchy brokers may use that information against you because they already know the stop loss and your, they already know your stop loss and your take profit. So they may use that information to activate your stop loss. Okay. This is what a lot of brokers, uh, well, a lot of people are afraid of. Okay. So by using this, uh, the EA has the information, so the EA will actually send, like, will actually uh, ask the broker to to close the trade when the stop loss or the take profit values are hit. Okay, I reach it. Okay, so by using this, then the broker doesn't know. Okay, the broker will not know your stop loss. The broker will not know your take profit. Okay, they will only know when your EA sends the information to close, like to, to, to close the trade. Okay. Then they, they will know. All right. And, uh, the last, uh, option is take snapshot. 
which is to take a screenshot of your trade. Okay, I'm not going to talk about this uh, much. All right, so uh, I think that's all uh, for today, guys. If you have any questions about how to use the EA, you can ask me uh, on the comment section below. All right, and uh, I wish you guys a profitable week. Uh, stay green, my friends, and I see you on my next video. Bye.